What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword Shield, hopping off to that rank double ladder, and guys, we got ourselves a good one today. We got ourselves a Cantonian Articuno theme for the rank ladder. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. You guys rock. Thank you so much for the support that has been going out on the channel. And shout out to my boy Jan for dropping this team once again. It's looking amazing. Cannot wait to get after it. But in the front spot, you can see we got ourselves a regular Articuno over here with pressure ability and the focus ash it can actually set up tailwind which is amazing air slash for stab and then we got freeze dry and ice shard both for stab moves but freeze dry you guys already know is super effective against water pokemon over on the right we got big boy dragapult with that clear body and weakness policy if we can force a trigger with that weakness policy we can roll out and dominate the battle with that thing we got dragon darts phantom force steel wing and protect beyond my face cam is really really strong ultra beast we got kartana with the beast boost and expert belt item this is kind of like a normal little thing for this uh this Kartana, normal moveset, and a normal uh, item. We got the Leaf Blade, Smart Strike, Sacred Sword, and Protect. Right next to it, we got Incineroar. Great Pokemon. Nice little support mod. Can do some work. Can actually drop special attack. And we can end a regular attack with the Intimidate and Pardon Shot. Got that Aguab Berry. We can Fake Out and Flare Blitz as well with them. Bottom left corner, we got Gardevoir. Gardevoir is very strong. Special attacker. And it also can imprison Trick Room, which I really, really like having on this team. So Trick Room can't just screw us over and somebody can roll it and just dominate the battle. So we have Gardevoir over there. Just to counter up on that Trick Room. And then we got Shadow Sneak for first turn priority and Moonblast for our stab move. And then in the final spot, we got the boy Rotom Wash. And I actually did not know Rotom Wash learns will o -Wisp. That is awesome. That is going to be huge up against physical attackers. We can just put the burn on there and have the physical damage. And then we got Bolt Switch, Thunderbolt, and Hydro Pump all for stab moves guys you want to try out this team for yourself mental code is at the bottom of the screen but let's get after it let's hop on that rank double ladder try to get some wins with this articuno team i absolutely love articuno as a pokemon and now that i know it learns tailwind that is awesome for rank so we can actually lead it in most battles get get off that tailwind then roll out from there but awesome team that we're reversing in battle number one i'm glad i've been uh since i've been playing rank battles in like the recent week we've been seeing cooler like off meta teams so i'm actually hyped for this battle this guy is skeptile Tapu Koko, Flareon, Corviknight, Seismitoad, probably Swift Swim if I had to guess because it's rolling Politoed in the final spot. But yeah, we're going to lead Articuno. I feel like Articuno just actually thrives here really well. It does work up against the, uh, the Politoed, the Seismitoad, considering we have Freeze Dry. Can do work up against that Skeptile. Gotta watch out for that uh, Flareon as well. I'm probably going to lead Incineroar. I think Incineroar is pretty nice. I gotta watch out for that. Or does he lead Corviknight? If he leads Corviknight, then... Uh, then he's gonna mirror armor that uh, intimidate. So do I? I, I kind of want to lead in Cinnamon, but at the same time, I feel like he's leading Corviknight. If that's the case, I can just bring Rotom here. And I can roll out from there. I definitely want to bring Dragapult. I feel like Pult just rolls out pretty strong here. Now let's go in Cinnamon. We'll risk it. We'll risk it with Incineroar. If, if that's the case, we can just partner shot out and roll from there. I want Dragapult, and then in the final spot, either Kartana or Rotom. Which I'm thinking Kartana is gonna come in here. Hmm. Do I want Kartana or do I want that Rotom boy? Who do I want? Who do I want? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Kartana just for that. Actually, no, no, no. Mm. I forgot about the life orb on the Rotom, but we were running out of time, so we got Kartana. I should probably went Rotom, but hopefully Kartana can pick up the the slack with it. It's very strong Pokemon, so either way, they're both gonna hit hard. One's just physical, and the other one is just special attacking. But I kind of wanted that Rotom just for that burn ability, or like, well, not ability, burn move. You can just burn on Corviknights, all that good stuff, or any other physical attacker he has. Then roll from there, but. Who's he gonna lead? He's gonna go Skeptile and Tapu Koko. So I'm fine with that. Is Skeptile physical attacking? I think it might be. Quick edit right there. No turns have been played yet. The, the Electric Surge has been played. Skeptile had those Electric Seeds on, so it boosted its stats. And then we just got Intimidate off, and that is about what happened. But we're about to pick our moves. I think we go off into. I mean, we're pretty fast. But no, that thing's unburdened. So definitely tail went up. And I'm going to fake it out, I believe. Or I'm actually just gonna. Nah, I'm gonna fake out. I'm going to fake out, set up this Tailwind, roll from there. I don't think he's going to Dynamax. He actually might. He's just going to Quick Guard. Okay, he's going to Quick Guard so the fake out doesn't get off on anything. That's pretty smart. But uh, Articuno should be able to eat up whatever Electric Move he's thrown. We got the Focus Ash as well, so that's going to be fine. Deep Bolt coming out. Articuno say that's very, very tasty. Now, Articuno should be able to outspeed the uh, what's called all day. That's actually smart to go into a Quick Guard. Pretty smart. Tapu Koko is Life Orb, which is huge. So now that we know that, bang, little Tailwind happening. Get that speed up, and now I think I just snarl? Do I just snarl and freeze dry? Hmm. Maybe just freeze dry. Try to get after a Skeptile, he's kind of scary. And I think I just start snarling all around. Considering Tapu Koko is special attacking, I'd rather just start dropping his special attack stats and not worry about it too, too much. But does he have a first turn priority move? I don't think Skeptile learns anything first turn priority. 
And I'm almost positive Coco doesn't have anything like that either. But yo, this thing is dropping a quick guard turn one. Yo, I like that play. I really do like that play. I really do. I'm making move, my dude. What you got? What you got? Dun, dun. I love the shiny, though. Is our, is our Articuno shiny? He does look like a, a, a lighter tint of blue. I mean, it's going to withdraw the Skeptile. That's totally fine. We're dropping a freeze dry. He's going to go in a Flareon. That's what I'll play. Flareon's probably Rock Quick Attack. But I had to guess. It's Rock Quick Attack. But um, we got a freeze dry coming out here. Not going to do too, too much. But still, a little bit of damage. I like it. He's going to take me out probably with a Discharge. I think that's what's going to happen. Or Dazzling Gleam. There it is. There goes a Gleam. Do some damage on my Incineroar. And we will get off a Snarl. But the best part is we got that Tailwind off. So now I can actually roll out into any Pokemon I want. And probably Dynamax from here. So I think I'm just going to roll out in the Pult Ski. And go from there. Flareon, avoid it. Yo, what you mean? At least we got the Coco hitting. At least we got the Coco doing damage. Get that out of here. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Oh, that thing. Oh, 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 oh. Hold up. This thing's toxic. This thing's guts. This thing is guts. So we are totally bringing out Pult's gear. I'm going to bring out Pult. And I'm just going to Dynamax go after that Flareon. I think that's 100% the play. And then keep snarling. Or do I party shot out? I might party shot out onto the Flareon. I think that's the play. I think we uh, Dynamax. I could drop attack stat. I could Phantasm, but I, I think I'm just going to go here. Go into you. And then there's no way to see Rock and Ally switch, right? Not a shot, right? I think in that case, we just have uh, Party Shot onto the top of Coco Slot. Hmm. I say we do that. He is minus one. I'd rather swap out get my Fake Out back in here. Let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens. Because hopefully he'll go for Dazzling Gleam, trigger my weakness policy, and then we can roll out and dominate this battle, which would be pretty nice, which would be awesome. Articuno is down for the count. Nice little swap by him. He's going to swap the Coco. That's totally fine. So we're parting shot into that into that slot. I really do like that turn. The is going to come back out here. He has the Unburdened ability. And we are going to get the Dynamax. What's throwing me off right here is I don't really know if these guys are special attacking or physical attacking, because they can go both ways, right? I'm pretty sure Skeptile can be either special or physical. Let's hope they're both physical because we're going for the worm win. We'll get that uh, the attack drop here and then we'll party shot. I'm, I'm almost positive Skeptile is physical and Flareon is probably special. I think that's how it's going to be. But I think both these Pokemon can be either way. So I guess we'll see in a second. Here comes Dynamax from Flareon. Okay. Okay. Dynamax and Flareon. What you want, Flareon? What you want? But I wonder what Flareon is going to go. He might just set the heat. Which actually is a big threat to my Kartana. Like, I can win this game, I just need Flareon out this way. So we're just going to start uh, teeing off on these things. But I party shot into Kartana at this. And Kartana should be able to outspeed. We can double up into Flareon if we really want to. Let's get it. Uh, doing some beautiful damage. And I think uh, next shot, we'll take that thing out, right? Yeah, next uh, Wormwind takes that out. Because he's going to get the poison damage. And Wormwind is going to do a decent amount. Because my party shot, I'm saying, yo, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. There's no way he's going for a fire move on that slot. So in that case, I'm just going to go into my Kartana, and we should be fine. We should be fine. There's no way he's going to fire move into the slot. If he does, I'll give him mad props. But we have one more turn left in Tailwind, so that leads me uh, to be fine. That leads me to be pretty decent. Dude. We get a little Kartana out. Shiny, looking all good. Looking goody. What you going to do? You're going to go for a Quake over on Kartana slot. That's fine by me. Or go over. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Kartana eats. That's totally fine. The Kartana is definitely, I think, fastest on the field. There's a special defense boost, but we're all physical attacking in this final final thing. Again, Wormwind takes that out, and uh, Kartana should be able to do some nice damage over on this other side. Uh, do I go for Phantasm, or do I go for... What do I go for? Either one's going to take him out. Maybe just Phantasm, because we're going to outspeed... Oh, actually, who's faster? That would be a big decision. That'd be a big factor for me. Who is faster, Kartana or Dragapult? So Kartana's 177, uh, 213, yeah, okay. The Polsky is faster, so I'm definitely going to go for the uh, the Phantasm. It's still stab, but we'll get the defense drop so Kratana can do more damage over on this uh, left side. Over on the Skeptile. Let's get after it like that. He actually might guard. I wouldn't be surprised if he guards. He's going to withdraw the Skeptile. I'm totally cool with that. And bring back out. Ooh, yo, yo. Yo, my dude's doing some nice reads. Mm, mm, he's spicing up. He's going to guard you. Ooh. Ooh. Phantasm, nothing. Drop him. Um, are we still fastest? He's swapping a lot. This is actually a really good battle. Smart Strike coming out here. Doing, doing a little bit of damage. We'll, we'll take that little bit of damage. That's actually a good amount of damage on a Corviknight? On a Corviknight? Bro, a not very effective steel move on a Corviknight? I like that. But yeah, we're fastest, so 
I think Dynamax are over, but Tailwind and Speed are out. And I think both my Pokemon outspeed these guys. So, I'll just Phantasm again. Good Phantasm, and then it's just a nice little Sacred Sword. I'm with it. I'm with it. I like this play. I probably I should I should have reversed that. I should have actually went after a Corviknight with the Phantasm and then took out the Flareon. Because both my Pokemon should 100% outspeed this. We got 213 and 177. Oh, come on, man. That's GG. That's uh, not GG. I, I shouldn't say GG. But for the speeds, we definitely got the speeds locked down right now. And then I still have Incineroar in the back. So I, I feel like if we're going to win this match, it's going to be because of Poltsky. Let's see what this dude does. Here comes the Phantasm. Flareon, out my face. I'm not dealing with you. And I wonder what that, uh... I really do wonder what what's called this is gonna do. Poor Knight. Mirror armor, clear bodies bouncing back. It's totally fine. That's fine. We do not get the drop. But I'm thinking we should have went the other way. I think we should have Phantasm on the Corbin Knight and then uh drop that player on with my with like a smart strike or something along those lines. But decent damage there if we're out of stab move. And then Cartana's gonna go down here, right? Oh no, he's bulking up. That's fine. You wanna bulk up? I'm I'm coming after you. I am coming after you. <laughs> we're getting after you. Here comes the left over. This thing's starting to bulk up pretty well, uh, but my what's called should be decent against that. My Intimidate Pokemon, my Incineroar. I think Coco comes back out here. Then Coco takes speed advantage, right? Mm, that's a little scary. That's a little scary, yo. He might bulk up again. Here, yeah. Here comes the Coco. Hey, yo, chill on me, man. This one's gonna be real good. Uh, do I swap out? Do I swap? No, because then Mirror Armor just bounces back. I kind of get gotta get rid of that Corviknight. Kinda gotta get rid of the Corviknight, and my Dynamax turns are over. And my weakness policy still hasn't triggered, man. I really want it to trigger. But is one Gleam gonna take me out? I think maybe we can eat it up? Let me be real close. Uh, good Phantom Force drop. I think it's probably definitely Phantom Force drop, and protect, uh... Protect Kartana here? Or do you think he's bulking up again? Hmm. He's definitely gleaming, so I should be able to eat up a gleam and be able to get off a, a secret sword here. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. He's got to be gleaming, right? Tabu Coco is going to gleam. And then, like I said, uh, what's called should be able to eat this up all day. Cartana. You don't, Cartana? It's a crit, dude. Are you kidding me, man? Just ruin everything that I had planned out. And what's Corvette? Is Corvette bulking up or going on left side? He's bulking up. Dude, what you mean? What do you mean? We would've been thriving. We would've been doing just dandy. We would've done more damage on the Corviknight. We would've got another shot on there next turn. Bro, yo, get out my face. Get out my face. Yo, this is actually a really good battle. It's actually a really good battle. I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it to it. Really good battle right here. We're throwing out Incineroar. Incineroar is going to do nothing. I'm going to, what do I fake out? Who do I fake out? Yeah, I fake out Coco more than anything. Hmm. Definitely gotta, definitely gotta jump big out. He got on the Coco slot. Get that Coco, baby. Get him! Get him! Bro, dude, that Corvette's bulking up. He's bulking up, man. This dude don't play around. Does Incineroar outspeed? Does Incineroar outspeed uh, Corvette? That's a, that's, a, that's a good question. Phantom Force popping here now. Doing some damage over there. I need to drop a Flare Blitz over here. Abacoco flinches, and Corviknight's gonna body press. E. Eat that up, buddy. Nope, that's pretty much it. That is it. That is it. Wrap it up. I should have fired what's over on the side. Or, or fake that out. That would have been the play. And, and then probably try to proc weakness policy with a glean. But, eh. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I feel like that crit was a tough move there. And it kind of ruined us a little bit. I won't say a little bit, but. That was actually a really good battle. Went pretty long, but we ended up catching that L, and we can hop through our second battle and try to get ourselves our first win for this video. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a problem. This guy's got Metagross. I don't know what to do. This thing is an absolute beast, but second battle coming at you guys. How should I get after this one? He's got the Clefable, the Whimsicott, the Regilecki, Cresselia. Cresselia can set Trick Room. You can also just like helping hands. Really good support mod. Then Draco Fish and Metagross. Draco Fish is scary as well. I definitely think we gotta go Articuno. Articuno's great lead. He's great lead. We'll probably lead him in most games here. It's a Clefairy. So, and the Cresselia. So, Cartana could come in here and be pretty dandy, pretty candy. Um, clear body on the on the Metagross. I kind of want to lead Incineroar. We can figure out a lot of these Pokemon. And Intimidate will work out pretty well. So, we're going to go Incineroar. Bang. Uh, I think Poltsky. Poltsky come through. Hmm. 
Okay, Carnivore, we got Rotom we can choose from. I definitely want Polsky here. I definitely want the Polskis. Um, hmm, final spot. I think Rotom comes in with that, that Life Orb. I think, I think that's a dandy little move by me. I think that's a dandy little move. He can't trick her. Actually, he can trick her. But I don't think he is going to. He's got Regilecki and Draken. We don't have a Taunt. That's a little tough. But if he does go into Cresselia, I could try doubling up through it. Just go for a fake out and then uh, try to do some damage. And then probably in two turns, we can take it out and roll from there. But he does have that uh, the Fable. And the Fable Fable can follow me. So, it's a little scary. It's a little scary. Dun, 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 we are looking for that first win, baby. <laughs> This dude's rocking the Mohawk, I like it. But he goes Fable and Regilecki. Uh, I think I just fake that thing out and roll from there, right? This fake out goes before the follow me. I think I could... Do I Tailwind or do I double up? I think I got a Tailwind here. Pressure is all into it. I could swap after that. This could be pretty nice. Intimidate coming out here. They're both special attacking, so... Smart, smart from the lead like that. Yeah, but definitely fake him out. And... Tailwind? I think Tailwind's the play. Yeah, set up a Tailwind. Fake out, and then start snarling. I could swap and go for a snarl because we he, we know he's gonna go for that electric move. That's kind of tough. I said we just eat up with the sash later. He's gonna withdraw. He's gonna withdraw. That's fine. Cresselia's gonna pop here. And I think he's gonna start going for that uh, that tailwind. Or well, not the tailwind, the trickin'. Yeah, he's gonna follow me into. Oh, you smart biscuit. So he gets us to set up that tailwind. He's just gonna roll from there. I'm just gonna start snarling. I'm just gonna start snarling up on these Pokemon. I'll I'll keep my uh, Articuno in now. Oh, cosmic power. Yo, chill on me. Leave my Pokemon alone. Leave my Pokemon alone. He's going to boost his defensive stats and his special defense. That's pretty huge. That's pretty huge. But I think in that case, we just start air slashing. But either way, he is going to actually... We could actually uh, try to get some turns out here. He's going to... He's boosting, man. Which is really scary. Which is really scary. I think I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to keep snarling. I think we try to get the flinch onto the uh, Cresselia slot. Or the fa Fable slot. And we just snarl. That's what I was gonna switch. I was gonna start going after Cresselia slot. Because we know Cresselia is probably setting up a trick then. Fable's probably gonna go for another cosmic power, which is a little scary. A little scary if he sets it up. Oh, oh Cresselia's calm mind. Yo, chill on me. Why are these Pokemon setting up? It's gonna be a rough day for jeans, man. Real rough day for jeans. Cresselia and then this thing flinches. Ooh, that's big. That's a big flinchies. So he's just gonna keep healing up. I think I just keep snarling on these Pokemon. Even if their defense is bulky, I'd rather force maybe them to swap out. I think that's the play. We just air slash over on the Fable slot again. We just keep dropping Cresselia's uh, special attack. Same thing with Fable. So we just keep doing that. Oh, well, might be a long battle as well. Here comes my air slash. Getting back out there. Doing a teensy bit of damage. Not too, not too bad. Snarl popping off. Oh, right. Get it, yo. Give me that. Give me that special attack. That's awesome we have, uh, we have Snarl on this Pokemon, on this Incineroar. That's big, that's big, it's especially for this match right here. If I did not have Snarl, these guys could just start teeing off on me. Incineroar's gonna be able to eat that up, no problem, all day long. Fable's flinching again, yo, you love to see it, yo, we're gonna Snarl again. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna, I'll play it slow, I'll play it slow all day, baby. <laughs> just air slashing, getting after you, Snarl. And I think next turn he swaps, I think next turn he does swap. I think, I think maybe he holds off this turn. I think next turn he will swap, and then that's when I strike my Flare Blitz. Yeah, he's gonna ally switch. That's okay. That's totally fine. We're still snarling up on you. I wonder what uh, Fable's trying to get off. But now we know he has an ally switch. So that's pretty. That's pretty nice. A little bit of damage over there. Here comes my Snarl Barrel. You guys are supposed to special attack it. That's to my third one. Now I'm gonna drop a Flare Blitz. Now I'm gonna just drop a Flare Blitz and say, "Yo, get out of my face!" And drop, drop a big old Flare Blitz. Cause you can have that defense boost all day, but you're nothing without your attack. You're not doing anything. He's moonlighting. That's fine. Got moonlight. Moonlight. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, do I go for the burn? I, I don't think we really need Tailwind right now. I think we're fine. I said we just keep popping off on this Cresselia now. Gotta get you out of there. I'll snarl again. <laughs> I kind of want to drop the Flare Blitz, but dude, if you're just gonna chill it. If you're gonna set up your Fable, I'd rather drop its attack stats. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather just have that thing, like, be defensive. If it's gonna be defensive bulky. I'd rather just... Ooh, nice flinch again, yo. If it's going to be bulky on defense, I'd rather just drop a special attack so it can't do anything in the long haul. So, tell you flinching. There's, <laughs> there's that special attack drop for the fourth time. I'm playing around, man. He's going to Cosmic Power. Go ahead. Boost your defensive stats. We'll go all day. You're not going to do any damage. We're not going to do any damage. Fine. That is fine. Seems just going to be a bulky thing. 
He's probably gonna just follow me out the rest of the game later. And oh, that's scary. That is real scary. That is real scary. Who, do, who else do I have? I, I don't have Kartani either. <laughs> oh no. But if you're gonna trigger weakness policy, e man, a little scary. Let's swap. I'm gonna swap Pult here. Hopefully they hit my Pult. Let me just drop another Snarl. If they can trigger a weak spot, that'd be pretty big. Articuno, swap you. I don't think we need Tailwind. Our team's rather fast. We're gonna bring out Pult now. Go for a Moon Blaster on that slot. Do it. Do it. You won't. Do it. You won't. Do it. You won't. You won't. You won't. Oh, that thing's Moonlighting. I thought that was a Moon Blast. Dang, all I saw was Moon and then, uh, my, uh, what's it called, right in front of me. Kind of blocked it off. My microphone. All I saw was Moon. You don't go for a Moon Blaster. He's doing Cosmic Power. Like, trigger my policy, man. Go ahead. Cosmic Power. Yo, dude, this match is gonna suck, dude. <laughs> This is just gonna be long drawn out match. I'm not dealing with it. I hate this game. <laughs> like you, what what are you doing? Is this how you get your sick kicks? Is this how you have fun? Like just cosmic power and calm mind? I don't see that being fun whatsoever. I'm gonna drop on you. I'm a parting shot out. On to Fable. I'm a parting shot out. Start getting some attackers in here. We dropping here. We dropping. I'm not down to just yet. Uh I'm just gonna get in Rotom. Hey, come on, man. I guess this, this is how he has fun, man. Like, this match is gonna go to this one, guys. So, hopefully, you guys grab your popcorn. You're here to hang out. You're here to have some fun. Like, this one is gonna go for the time limit, I think. It's definitely gonna go for time limit. He's not gonna change his two Pokemon. They're just gonna defense pull. Uh, kind of did everything we can with the special attacking. And I'm gonna get in Rotom and just start trying to do damage at least. Maybe throw burns. I think if I burn both Pokemon, that could be huge. Start neglecting or doing a little bit of damage, like pester damage through time. Here's sword power. Oh, jeez, jeez! Now that's scary. Now that is scary. Now that is scary. That is terrifying. That is that is absolutely terrifying. This thing's rolling sword power. I gotta go for the paralyze on this thing. That is absolutely terrifying. Oh my lord. Here goes that. Nice damage on the Cresselia. That is really scary. d ball coming out here. Give me the Paralyze with this thing. I need you here, Rotom. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me, Rotom. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Guys, I. I. Hey. He's rocket sword powered. I think. Take out Polsky. Polsky, no! Yes, sir, Polsky. Okay. It's a crit. What you mean? So, it's, did he lose all of his stats? Or no? I don't think he loses all his stats. I kind of... I can check, actually. But he gets... Like, he's boosted, man. Look at this. Look at his stats. <laughs> um... I got Phantom Force, and I think I set a terrain as well. I had to set a terrain, right? I think I set a terrain here. But we gotta start Dynamaxing. Let's go. Let's Dynamax over time. Much I did want to put on Burns. I think now's the time to go before he just starts stored power on me left and right. But yeah, we're gonna get after it with this. We'll get rolling, baby. Cresselia is not doing much. Cresselia is just kind of there for maybe an ally switch and all that. Me actually might ally switch this turn. I should have thought about that. Let's see. No, he does not. He's probably gonna calm mine again. Here goes my lovely little fan of force. We dropping out of here. Here goes my lightning. Setting terrain. Doing some decent damage on this fable slot. There we go. There we go. Then I feel like we can double up in that Fable slot after next turn. Because I think it's just going to Moonlight next turn. We, we kind of already see it. Or it might actually... Yeah, next turn's going to do it. It's probably going to Calm Mind again. Let's see what you got. Calm Mind. I'm just going to Calm Mind. Yo, dude, stop. Like, like, how is this fun for you? How do you hop on the rank ladder and just do this? Not fun whatsoever. As the power comes out. Yeah, I kind of kind of saw that one. Boosting stats again. I think I just double up into that thing next turn. Ah, this game. This game, man. Like, this was my only way out. I'm just sick of this. I'm just really sick of this. This is my stronger one. This is my 130. Yeah. Right for you. And we roll out. 
Jeez, dude. I, I'm not trying to sit here all, all game. I, that's why I died. I said, like, dude, let's die. Like, if I lose, I lose. I really don't care. I'm having fun. Hope you guys are still enjoying the content. Give me a crit or something. Bro, no crit for me. Oh, nice damage. I like it. Here's my lightning. Ah, uh, give me a crit. Give it to me. No crit. I think if we double up, we can take out Fable next turn. Or this turn coming up. And obviously, in Moonlight's like... I'm doubling up into you this turn. I'm doubling up into you. I'm taking out that Fable right here, right now. Actually, it's taking me out. Oh, no. Moonlight? Dude. Yo, if... If... If whoever I'm bursting right now, if this is a viewer, I love you, alright? But, you gotta knock this off. You gotta knock this off. This is, this is not fun for anybody. Not fun for anybody. We're going for a steel wing. Like, what is this? What are you doing, man? Like, what are you doing, dude? Like, come on. Like, no, nobody likes a long, drawn-out match. I really, like, I like a long, good match, but these ones are just drawn out where nothing is happening. Absolutely nothing's happening. You guys just get extra content though, so thanks for sticking around hanging out with your boy jeans Much appreciated. We do absolutely nothing with that shot and I'm about to just get incinerated. Like if you want to go long haul, I'll play till the timer runs out. We can play that all day I'm gonna throw burns on you. Moonblast coming down here. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Of course, you, of course you get the special attack drop. Like wh how else? Like bro, like of course, of course you're getting it. Who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed that you get the special attack drop? I'm swapping back out into my cinema and we get more. Like, dude, like, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. This guy's not doing anything either. Uh, Pokemon to a swap back in the cinema. I really don't want to start wasting my time, but I just drop here. Get after you. I could Volt Switch into Incineroar, and I think that's going to be the play. Actually, no, we're going to keep, uh, keep him out here. He's at full health. He's, he's shown decently. And we're, maybe we'll get the paralyzes. But just like, come on. Come on. Come on. Feeble, bop. Doing absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Moonblast. Good work, Poltskis. Good work, Poltskis. Cosmic power. Cosmic power, really? 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 Who would have guessed? I'm honestly like, I don't care this much about getting this win. I might just run this battle. I think I'm just going to run this battle. I really don't feel like dealing with it. So we're going to run this battle. Hopefully you guys still enjoyed it. We are going to hop into our third and final battle. And we're going to get ourselves a win. Because I'm sick of this game. I really am. <laughs> I'm running this one. I don't care. I really don't care. Like, if you're going to be that annoying, you can just have the win. Just take it. Just take it. It's not that big of a deal to me. I wasn't dealing with that last battle. You guys already know they get really annoying, and I just wasn't dealing with it. But hopping into our third and final battle, trying to get a win for the Jeans Online Gaming Community, babe. We doing it. We trying to get it for you guys. This guy's got Sneasel Colossal Combo. Sneasel cannot be faked out. That is a huge plus for that thing. But actually might lead it. And if he does lead, I kind of want Rotom in here because I could just slide after him and go after him. Because do we think we can go Tailwind into Rotom? I think that could be a chance for us to outspeed it. Let's go Articuno into you. And then bring, he's got the Gudra. Mm. Okay, so that is where it gets here. He has the Gudra, or not the Gudra, the Gastrodon with the Storm Bay. That's where it gets a little tricky. I think Kartana is definitely going to come in here for that Grass type. We do have Freeze Dry as well. So, mm. Mm. I think we're fine with, with what we're going with right now. And then in the final spot, then we got to bring in Poltsky. Do I bring in Poltsky? Let's have that Dragon. Yeah, I'm looking at that. I'm looking at that a lot. Like when we're sitting, Incineroar doesn't have to come out this match. Okay, all right, we're fine. A kid actually beat up on the uh, Verizium too, but that that uh, that Storm Drain Gastron is definitely coming. I think it's definitely coming in. So I gotta gotta keep that in the back of my head for this last battle. Hopefully we can get a win, cause right now we're sitting at 0 2, and I'm not liking that. But that last battle, bro, come on, I don't even really count that as a win. It's like I, I quit. I, maybe I could have won if I would have stalled out. It would have been actually really close, but I just wasn't dealing with it. The Sneasel and the Colossal Combo do come out. So I have to make a call right here, right now. Is he swapping or is he not? Is he surfing? What is he doing? I might just protect my Rotom and see how he goes from there. I think I just Tailwind. Or do I just Freeze Dry on the side? I think I Tailwind here. I think I 100% Tailwind and I cannot protect. Let's swap. E. And he goes into Gashnon, he gets a plus. And I just freeze right next turn. 
Or if he goes for a serve, I say I say we just die, Max. I say we get after it. I think he's gonna go for the serve. Come on, come on, baby, come on, come on. Okay, he, I don't think he's swapping, right? Or does Dynamax just come out first? I think I think Dynamax is come out late, so I don't think he's swapping. I think I made I think I made the right call. I think he's I think he's gonna Dynamax and serve. Like that. But next turn, next turn, I gotta watch out. for Next turn, I gotta watch out for the swap. Yeah. See what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. Unless he's swapping Sneasel. No, it would have came out first. No, he's Dynamaxing and he's going for all that. He's going for the surf. And I'm totally fine. So we're going to Tailwind. We should. I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking. A Tailwind Rotom beats a plus six Colossal in speed. Good episode. Here comes Surf, obviously. Call that one. Gets a sad boost. It. Actually, probably not now. Now that I'm thinking about it. Because we're not going to be able to get off this tail one because I think should be able to outspeed my Articuno. Hmm. Let's see. Unless Articuno goes first. Let's see what happens here. Now he's going to go first with him. Eat it, Rotom, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> On eight. We eating. We eating. You don't want it. You don't want it. Get him out of here. He doesn't want it. Give me my tailwind. Get him out of my face. I'm done with him. Get him out of here. Get him out of here, yo. Do better next time. Try try harder, man. Hit the gym. You gotta be a little bit stronger. Get the gains, baby. Get out of my face. I'm not dealing with him. I'm not dealing with him. That's huge. Get big attacker out of the way. And we still have another turn, but the Sneeze will get a first turn priority move. No, Rotom goes down to Life Orb. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. But yo, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'll go one for one on that. I'll go one for one on that all day. We're starting to take speed advantage. I get out my Poltsky? Who do I get out here? Artana or Poltsky? Artana's looking real good here. <laughs> Artana's looking real good. I can Smart Strike, pick up a Beast Boost, and roll from there. And we'll say Poltsky for the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't have his Fire Pokemon anymore. Ooh, wee. He's going to throw out, hmm. Gastro. There he's a Gastro. And this is where I freeze dry and I take out the Sneasel. This is where I take out the Sneasel. He's, I think he might protect. Let's see what you got. What you got, fool? He is in the rain, so the rain is going to help him out a little bit with the Scalds and whatnot. Yeah, you know, I'm liking this. We got speed all day. I get a Smart Strike off here and just end this thing. And Gastron does protect. I, I was thinking that. I was thinking he was going to protect. So good thing I didn't drop a Leaf Blade in that thing. If I can pick up the KO here with a Smart Strike, there's my Beast Boost, and that should be rolling out to the game. We eating, baby! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Big road time clutch, dude. Then on eight, there's my beast boost for attack plus. I can take out Gastron next turn, no problem. Beast Rise is gonna do nothing, and dude, we're thriving. That should be, we're just gonna ride, ride our pony to victory, baby. All right, Secretary. Don't let, do Not bad battles, not bad battles. Like I said, dude, that second battle, get it out of my face. I wasn't dealing with it. Uh, Intimidate comes out. That's totally fine. I think, I still think Elite Blade takes out Gastron, no problem. And then we just uh, start air slashing away on that thing. Actually, he's going to fake me out. He's going to fake me out. I'm just going to protect. He's going to fake out my Kartana. That's, a, that's an obvious play. And then he's going to protect next turn with the Ashton. That's fine. That is fine by me. I don't think he got the Moxie. I don't think he got the Moxie to not fake out. But he's definitely faking out my Kartana slot. And then he's going to protect Gastron next turn. But we're just going to read him hard heavy. See what he does. Protect Kartana. Oh, uh we still have Polt in the back. Love Polt. Here comes Fake Out. Oh. Oh. Okay. Earth Power. Block. Okay. Again, speed's in our favor. I think Gastro protects. I really do think Gastro protects. So in that case, I'm doubling up in the Incineroar slot. I'm going for the Secret Sword. I really do think Gastro protects. He does not. That's silly fun by me. Gotta do damage on the same. Can Air Slash make this or kill this thing? No, now it cannot. I need a flinch. I need a big old flinch. Need a big old flinch, skis. Air slash. Oh. Uh, give it to me. Give it to me. Yeah. Dude, Articuno's been bopping with flinches today. You don't eat? Did you get a crit? Jesus. I really wanted you. I really wanted you. All right, that's fine. Dragon Darts in the air slash. That one Peter's out. Again, speed is still ours. It's still ours, man. 
We got Swarm. We got Swarm. I need, I need, uh... Do you think Dragon Arts picks up the KO on its own? I don't want to risk it. I really don't want to risk that. Uh, I say we just Air Slash into this thing. Then we just Dragon Arts on the side. Because if it does, then Air Slash will actually slide over. So, the Dragon Pulled is Bastion Art. No need for Tailwind either. Here's my D darts. Oh, uh, got a KO in one shot. No, this is why we doubled up into that slot. A little bit over on the U. And I still have Freeze Dry on my Articuno. Articuno takes out Incineroar. We eating. We eating. Surprised that EP took out my uh, Kartana that easily. Even though I know Kartana's just like not bulky whatsoever. Ice Beam, do we eat up an Ice Beam? I think we can. We can, and then there's Policy. We were gonna win this. What you mean? <laughs> we were gonna win this one regardless. If I had Pol if Polt went down to that or not, I already couldn't have been 1v1 on this uh on this cash round all day. You really got the freeze? You'll see a freeze from a, uh, an Ice Beam like once every 30 matches. You never see that. Like, never, dude. I probably played 60 matches this season. That's my first time I got froze by an Ice Beam. It's every here and there. That's like super luck, man. Getting a freeze off of that. Look at him, I'm frozen solid. But freeze try coming out here. Like I said, I think we win this match regardless. We're just gonna double up in the Dragon Arts here. We have policy proc, so. We thaw out here. Yeah. <laughs> we just thawed out. That's why freeze sucks, dude. <laughs> like, you get it? You think you're, you're like so happy with it? You're like, yeah, I froze him. And then they always thaw out one turn. You're like, dude, what was the point of that? Nothing happened, but that is going to be the game. Winning that final battle for you guys, and we had a nice little set of battles. The first one was pretty long. The second one was annoying, but third one, we pick up that win and go one and two. I'm glad I got to show off Cantonian Articuno in today's video. It was tons of fun. We got a win with it. Played some strong battles in battle number one and two. And we got to show off all these Pokemon alongside of it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, it only takes a second of your guys' time. And it really does help out the channel. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.